Today I'm going to tell you the story of Maria Malastrolovi, also known as Al Islia. Uh, her father's name was Muhammad Al Isli. He was a mathematician. She was born in Aleppo. Aleppo is a, is the second largest city in in Syria. When I really look at her, I see a Muslim woman that laid the foundation of of telescope. The, the the one that you saw at University of Maine. So when we talk about the Mariam Astrolovi, we are talking about telescope. Because the Mariam Astrolovi used the astrolog, what we call in modern days a telescope. And uh, around 960, because she was born nine, um, 910, uh, about 130 years after al khwarizmi Why I always mention al khwarizmi when I talk about a Muslim women mathematician? Because al khwarizmi is kind of father figure of uh, of Islamic mathematics, or even all mathematics, because he was the founding father of algebra itself. So, yeah, al khwarizmi was born 7 A.D. So she was born 910, about 130 years after al khwarizmi She what she has done amazing so her father was a mathematician uh, Muhammad Isley so he used to take her used to take her to uh, to his colleagues uh, and her, her father was working for uh, for people who um, who uh, who create uh, astrolobes astrolobe is like modern day GPS uh, modern day kind of if you put together GPS uh, and then the, um, and then the telescope and then the iPhone iPad and clock and that is and that is the astral of, of 9 nine, nine fifty eighty, right so she um, so when she started working for cypher so she grew up kind of she raised and grew up playing with the astrolobes astrolobes that can kind of locate a star that can measure the time that can do a whole lot of thing astronomical thing so uh, not so correctly uh, however, when she started to work uh, for Saifid Dola, who was the Amir of the, um, uh, the Aleppo, uh, she really improved the astrolobes. All of a sudden, and the people, uh, people in Aleppo, that was really, uh, uh, really a very developed city at that time. So people in Aleppo and people around the Middle East uh, started using her astrolobe to measure the time for example i'm going to explain you how astrolobe can measure the time uh, consider an astrolobe and um the astrolobe also have also kind of have the the latitude and longitude so you know it and you know uh, say you are like in aleppo right now so the latitude and longitude the the astrolobe will tell you 36 degree and 37 degree right north and east and then you use the index and you look at the night sky and you know find a bright star Deneb, and then point the point the index point the ruler type of thing to the Deneb, and then you measure the angle and that is let's say 26 or 25 or 27 and then use that angle you already know the latitude you already know the longitude use that to find the altitude and that is that gonna allow you to once you find the altitude and then you kind of move it to the uh, to the uh, to the reti right you you move the reti to that angle and that gives you the time so now if you walk around the around the street and ask someone what time it is you know the people can tell you the time within a fraction of a second by looking at the 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 wrist watch they use or maybe the iPhone they have in a fraction of a second iPhone reads the time but back then it was kind of a um, to measure the time it was kind of a, like tricky business you know you have to have a astrolog and you have to know the location let's say Aleppo the the largest city in in C uh, second largest city in Syria and then you have to know altitude and 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 uh, you have to know la uh, latitude and longitude because astrolog is going to give you but you have to know how to find how to read them and then uh, and then you have to know how to uh, how to use the index and then you have to know how to measure the angle you have to know who is the star is the bride and who is sister to use and then once you uh, have all of this then you have to know how to use the rate and once you move the uh, move it to the rate and that's finally gonna give you the time so it was really a tricky business to find the time however it could be done because of 
Mariam, Al Astrolovi, or Al Islia. This is why. This is why when I see when I went to the University of Maine, one of the biggest telescopes they have, I really, um, I really uh, wanted to say thank you to uh, to many people, especially Mariam Al Al Astrolovi or 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 Al Islia for her contribution for laying the foundation of modern telescope this is why i mean you know so many people recognize her contribution including including um, including henry hall covered an asteroid in 1990 and he named it after her 7060 islia asteroid so many ways she paved the way for the modern physics and astronomy